me now come to some do, don'ts, you know, what all you should not do when you start uh, playing. Actually, a good uh, teacher will actually start off by, you know, teaching the student to pluck the with the right hand. You can actually pluck like this. You can keep for support in the initial stages, you can keep your right thumb on the edge of this plank and use this position. You are not supposed to do pluck it here. See, a different uh, tone comes. Sometimes you can do this, like Siti Baba used to do, you know, to alternate between two different kinds of tone. You can do it intentionally, but not always. Or you should do it here. Some people do it very much here, you know, very near the last fret. So that is also not good. The best sound is produced only when you play it here, say about one third this distance, even less than half of this distance. So this will be a good point to pluck. One, two, three, four. And when you pluck, don't go inside the string, pluck from outside. Pluck from, your hand should be between the string and yourself. Don't go inside, don't go between the first and the second string or the second and the third string. So even while plucking the third string, some instances you may be required to play the third string, don't go beyond the string, go before the string, pluck it. You don't have to press it. You know the difference between pressing and plucking. So you actually have to pluck it, not press it like this. Not press it like this. This is wrong. So this is how it has to be done. You can wear a plucker or a plectrum it is called. But initially for uh, say a few months you can, it will do well to you know not use it because your hand, your fingers will then get the muscle power to actually produce the sound. Then you can start using it. So this is how it is to be played and equal power should be given to both fingers. See generally we all tend to use this finger much more, especially a beginner will play only like this. So he has to learn you to use both fingers, the middle finger as well and give equal push in the, in the middle finger as well. So lots of practice, many hours of uh, you know, even without a teacher one can do all this. Even if you are learning under a teacher, you can actually practice all these if you have a veena at home and you can improve your right hand technique. Right hand technique is as important as the left hand technique later on, you know, there are several methods of playing and you should play well with your right hand. Never use one finger because that will impede your speed and all later on. Initially it may be very easy but later on you will not be able to play well or uh, with the speed. So this will be an ideal way to play and you can keep this hand for support, it need not always be kept like this and it, this, uh, these two fingers um, can be kept perpendicular to the strings, see like this, not in this diagonal way or like this and you are not supposed, I see some, some of my students play like this you know, so I, when they come new to me, so these are not to be done like this, not like this, some of the don'ts, you have to play like this. And the two fingers are perpendicular to the string. And as far as the say, left fingers go, keep both your fingers uh, in a way that, you know, uh, the middle finger is a little longer. So you have to keep both, the middle finger has to be kept a little bent so that the edges of the, both the fingers are in the same plane when you keep them on the fret. One shouldn't be, you know, uh, jutting out over the other. They should be kept in the same plane. And you have to keep like this. And the ideal position will be not too near the nails and not too far away from the, the edge of the nails. Ideal position you one can develop over a period of time by trial and error. Then this will be the most convenient way to play. <laughs> 